Hi there. I am Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. I am a soul sculptor and I help you break the mold of past trauma and heartbreak so that you can have the amazing life and business of your dreams. You know, if you have a powerful message, it may not be for everyone. If someone asks you to distill your message because it makes them feel uncomfortable, then maybe they're not the right client. Maybe they are not the right group for you. If you have to, if you have to dim your light or soften your message and not shine with the truth of who you are, then you need to ask yourself, are these the right people for me? Are these my tribe? And sometimes we have to say to ourselves, well, this is not my tribe. This is not who I serve. We cannot possibly serve everyone. And not everyone is ready to really kick it and heal to the root of their issues because it can make them feel uncomfortable. So if you have to make others feel comfortable, if you have to change your messaging, so that others feel, uncom feel comfortable because they feel uncomfortable with the truth of your message and it is your truth, then maybe they're not the right people for you. Now, this is something that, that just happened for me today and I wanted to get this message out because here's the thing, if you spend 30 years healing yourself, 35 years, 36 years healing yourself, and you know what works and you have gotten to the place of joy not everybody is going to want to work with you and that's okay that's okay you just define your niche a little bit more and and the truth of that is the more defined that we are with our niche the more people are going to come to you and go your message spoke to me. You were talking to me. But if you start to distill your message, soften the language to make everyone feel comfortable, you won't get those fine clients, the ones that love you to the moon and back. I hope this message rings true for you. And, and, and if it does, you know what to do. You are on the right track. Don't ever dim your light to make others feel comfortable around you. Don't ever diminish who you are to make others feel comfortable. You know, we spend a lifetime pleasing everyone, right? And then when we recognize we can't make anyone happy but ourselves, we have to stop trying to please everyone. Stay in the truth of who you are. It is where your power is. A sovereign being stands in the truth of who they are every single day, not just sometimes, all the time. I'm Jennifer Elizabeth Masters, sending you lots of love. Mwah! And I know this was a zinger. Lots of love. I'd love to hear your comments below. Thanks for watching.